Hi everyone, this is Sunny Kumar from Mathematics and Computing Part 2 from IIT BHU and I am back again with the third problem of data structures and algorithms coding contest and the problem name is special paths. Okay, so let's jump directly into the problem statement. So the problem statement says we have been given an undirected connected graph that is all the nodes of this graphs are connected and we have been given m images. There are m images and every node has a value associated with it and it is going to be denoted by the value of array A. Now what we have to find in this problem is the minimum possible path value between the given two nodes that is start node and the end node. Okay, so we have to find what would be the minimum possible path value among all the simple paths between the start and end nodes. So what is this path value denoting here? So let's understand this also the path value between any two node would be a maximum absolute difference between the values of adjacent nodes present in that simple path. So let's understand this question more clearly. Let's take this example and let's analyze this. So we have been the given graph this and we have a start node as node named as 2 and end node node named as 4 and you can see the value that is 8561 colored in purple is going to denote the value associated with that node okay now we have to move from 2 to 4 note that there are three possible paths that is 2 to 4 directly 2 to 3 and then 3 to 4 now 2 to 1 and then 1 uh, to 4 okay so let's analyze each path and calculate the path value that is if we go from 2 to 1 then what would be the maximum absolute path difference that is the difference between the adjacent nodes would be so let's subtract uh, let's find out the absolute difference that is 8 minus 5 it would come out to be 3 okay and again if we go from 1 to 4 then what would be the maximum absolute path difference only between the nodes 1 and 4 it would be 8 minus 1 7 absolute value I have, I have to take now consider the case if we go from 2 to 1 and then 1 to 4 the maximum absolute difference between the values of adjacent nodes present in that simple path that is the our path is 2 to 1 then 1 to 4 what would be the maximum absolute uh, difference between the adjacent node path value that is maximum of 3 and maximum of 7 we have to take then the maximum value is absolutely 7 so uh, we have a value let's say for a one simple path that is going from 2 to 4 let's go from 2 to 1 then let's go from 1 to 4 then we will get the value as 7 okay so I am going to okay I am going to write this we have a 7 okay so do not get confused there is where I have talked about only one path that is 2 to 1 then 1 to 4 now consider another path from 2 to 4 directly note that there is only a single edge so what would be the maximum possible absolute path difference between the adjacent nodes of this path that is there is only one is so our difference would be 5 minus 1 4 and absolute value that is 4 so let me write here from going from 2 to 4 directly we have also encountered a only one path and this value maximum possible absolute difference between any two adjacent nodes here we can see there are only two nodes that is 2 and 4 our answer would come out to be 4 so let me circle it around so I have one path giving 7 value and one path giving 4 value and let's consider another path that is going from 2 to 3 and then 3 to 4. What would be the maximum absolute path difference for going from 2 to 3 giving path value as absolute value of 5 and 6 that is going to be 1. Okay. Now again I have to go from 3 to 4 then maximum absolute path difference giving path value as 6 minus 1 that is 5. Okay, now consider the case where we have to move from 2 to 3 and again 3 to 4. Then we have to take maximum of 1 and maximum of 5. Similar, obviously, 5 is the maximum. So I am going to write going from 2 to 3. And again, we have to go from 2 to 3 to 4. Then this will give us the answer as 5. So there are 3. Note that 5 is the maximum of this path. So I have to consider 5. So I have three paths that is 2, 1, 4, 2, 4 and 2, 3, 4 and the each giving 7, 4 and 5 values respectively. 
now the question says we have to find the minimum possible path value so we know we all know that minimum po possible path value would be uh, value of this path okay so let me circle this with another color so for better understanding so we have this value that is value giving 4 is our answer so how we are going to do this so how we are going to do this problem in most efficient way so let's understand this also okay suppose our approach of this problem would be perform a binary search so why we are going to do the binary search because we not we are unaware about what would be the, uh, our minimum possible path value so our minimum possible path value can be 0 or can be the maximum value that is 1 e power 6 why 1 e power 6 because we all know that array values is going to be up to 10 power 6 so I am going to take 10 power 6 as the uh, extreme value during binary search along with we are going to uh, do disjoint set union approach we are going to use disjoint set union approach why we are going to use disjoint set union approach because at a certain step of binary search suppose we have a certain mid value we have to check if this mid value can be the possible answer in our uh, so what I am saying uh, suppose we have a certain mid value during certain step of the binary search and we have to check if this value can be our minimum possible path value that is can be our answer if this mid value will uh, will give certain number of edges will form certain number of edges and form certain graphs using these number of edges as given in this problem if if it forms the graph where start node and the end node are in the same set that is start node and end node are connected then we can say we have a simple path we have a simple path let's say from 2 to 4 where we have this uh, minimum possible path value equal to the current value that is mid okay so that's why we are going to use disjoint set union using rank compression and path compression to achieve this value with uh, in most efficient time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to perform a binary search with l equal to 0 and r equal to 1 e power 6 and find out uh, at any uh, instant that is check if the current mid value can we give a set where a starting and ending node are in the same set also we all know that the best way to check if two nodes are connected or not is the use of disjoint set union disjoint set union this is the best way to check if two nodes in the graph are connected or not okay that is they lie in the same set or not each time we are going to make a new disjoint set by pushing those edges whose absolute difference is almost or we can say at most mid value that is current mid value performed during uh, achieved during binary search so let's move on to the code to analyze understand this better okay so let's first understand what is i have done using disjoint set so i have a pair of parent that is whose first entry of the pair is will be going to denote the parent of the current set and second element of this pair will going to store the rank of the uh, current set of elements a current set of nodes i have a find set or uh, method that is going to find the parent find the parent of the current set and along with i have done the path compression as you can see here also i have a union set function that is going to perform the union of two nodes if they lie whose if they lie in different sets okay so along with i have done the rank compression also uh, so if you do not know about disjoint set union so do not worry about i am going to provide you the link where you can study or where you can find this quotes or you can understand this disjoint set union approach very easily also now here comes the main function so what i have done is i have initially here i have taken n and m n is going to denote the number of nodes m is going to denote the number of edges so i have stored the edges and uh, pair in the edges pair vector now what i have done is i have uh, taken the start and end denoting the what we have to check if uh, find the minimum possible value between these two nodes here i have an array that is going to store the nodes value now i have started to perform the binary search where the minimum is 0 and maximum is 1 e power 6 now what i have done is i have get the mid value and checked if uh, this mid value if if we take 
the certain set of edges whose that is as you can see here i have taken certain set of edges whose absolute uh, difference between the adjacent nodes that is the edge the edge is going to denote that is as you can see suppose here we have an edge and 2 and 4 are adjacent so what i have done is i have pushed back the i have done the disjoint set union approach to all those edges whose edge value that is difference between the two nodes values connecting the two um, connecting the edge if this difference is going to be less than or equal to mid i am going to perform the disjoint set union or i am going to push back or make the union of those two nodes and perform make a set and if those set contains the two nodes that is start node and end node then we can say the current mid value can be our answer that is can be the minimum possible value okay now uh, i have taken the mid and i have uh, declared i have cleared the, all the previous entries as you can see and i have uh, done this for rank compression and path compression okay now what i have done is i have iterated in the edges and checked if uh, uh, what if absolute different uh, difference between the two nodes that is the edge value that is connecting the two nodes if this is less than or equal to mid i am going to make the union set of two nodes that is uh, join the two nodes or join the two nodes and put them into the same set using this joint set union note that uh, what uh, what is the main logic is the maximum possible absolute difference between the values of nodes is uh, the path value so the mid is going to denote the uh, our answer that is uh, minimum possible path value that we have to get so uh, what i have done is i have checked this mid can be our answer or not so if uh, what i have done is i have pushed back all this uh, to make our set that is uh, using union set approach and finally if uh, i have done i have done with all these uh, uh, pushback operations for union set i have find if the start that is as you can see start and the end are in the same set that is the graph made is connected and the both the nodes are in lies in the same set then may, then we can say our answer can be this mid value and if we have to find the minimum mid value that is minimum possible path value that's why i have uh, search for further if there are more minimum possible path value that can be our answer that's why i have uh, done decremented our end that is r equals mid minus 1 and if this condition for be makes becomes false that is start and end there's uh, doesn't lies in the same set i am going to increment and search for more that is greater value that is l equals mid plus 1 finally i am going to print the answer okay so note that this is going to give us all the past test cases so so the question is quite bit tricky using binary search and disjoint set union to find the if two nodes are connected or not that's why i have used disjoint set union so if you have any doubts please do not forget to mention in the comment section of the video and i will ask the us to like this video share this video and do subscribe to my youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video